Well, Toronto was ready to give you the world, and now the same city you choose to represent is deciding to ban you from certain restaurants? This seems backwards. We also found out that Paul George was plan B to a different all-star that Kawhi initially tried to recruit. What's going on, Fumble Fam? It's your boy, Chris, but you can also find me over on my YouTube channel, CK2K, but make sure you subscribe right here, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to like this video. Now, remember when we told you guys about all the shops and real estate agents offering free things to Kawhi if he stayed in Toronto? Well, now that he chose to be a Clipper, LA isn't treating them with the same love. We know that Los Angeles is predominantly a Lakers town, even with their lack of success for the past six to seven seasons. Obviously, with the new band of guys they have led by Anthony Davis and LeBron James, we expect that drought to end this season. But during that drought, the Clippers' success continued to grow after reaching the playoffs year in and year out. But unfortunately, the Clips still get no love from the OGs, especially this coffee chain that is banning Kawhi Leonard since he chose to be a Clipper instead of a Laker. The name of the coffee spot is Alfred's Coffee, and the owner Josh Zad is a diehard Laker fan and he was all in on the possibility of Kawhi joining the Lakers and completing the big three. But as we know now, that's not the case. Zad is so pissed about Kawhi's decision that he took to social media to let it be known that he will be banned from his coffee spot. Unfortunately for PG who was traded, you're collateral damage too buddy because you can't go either. Not so for you. Of course, this didn't go over well on social media because Twitter went in on the owner's ridiculous request. One tweeting, now I know never to go to Alfred Coffee, go Clippers. Another one tweeted, very weird flex. Go Clips Go 13 also fired back saying, at Alfred Coffee, been a long time fan of your coffee, but your little Kawhi Leonard stint cost you my business for life. LA isn't just Laker fans. Well, Josh, hopefully not a lot of Clipper fans were regulars at your coffee shop like my last guy there. And yes, for my Laker fanboys, Clipper fans exist out there, somewhere. Shout out to my little bro and also my co-host Brick. We'll continue to search for the other Clipper fans and get back to you guys though. I'm sure Kawhi isn't really too hurt about the band, nor is he really hurt that Kyrie Irving chose to be in Brooklyn rather than joining him in LA. Reports are coming out saying that Kawhi Leonard initially wanted Kyrie to come down to LA with him to play for the Clippers. According to ESPN, Kawhi had a close eye on Kyrie during all of the free agency madness and tried to recruit the all-star at points. But as we all know now, Kyrie and KD wasted no time making the decision known and now they are playing for the Nets and this led to Kawhi shooting his shot at trying to snag PG to the clips with him and well the rest is history. Although a lot of Laker fans truly believed Kawhi would be joining LeBron and AD, Kawhi was really looking forward to playing for Doc Rivers according to Mark Stein of the Undefeated. Mark Stein said this, yes two more star players who had similar paths to the NBA and who several sources described as pretty good friends somehow forced their way home together. Leonard, who just led the Toronto Raptors to their first NBA title, sold George on the idea of winning a championship together. Sources said Leonard and George also wanted to play for Clippers coach Doc Rivers. You guys hear that? Yes, that's the sweet sound of balance coming back to the league, and I am very excited for it. But what do you guys think? Can the Clippers ever truly win over Los Angeles, or are Laker fans so stubborn in their whole 16 championship argument to ever concede to the little brother team let me know in the comments below it's been your boy chris and i'll catch you guys in the next video i'm out